How to draw a Metatron's cube. Start by drawing the fruit of life. And to do this, you will need to add 13 circles in this design. You can use the seed of life to help you get them in the right place. Then you draw the centers of each circle so they connect to the center of every other circle. You can see you create a hexagon with a smaller hexagon inside, then you an equal triangle, an equal triangle facing down, a smaller triangle in the centre and a smaller triangle facing down and then you connect the other two parts to create another triangle from each one of the circles so each circle meets the centre of each other circle and then you have met. To draw the tetrahedron from the Metatron's cube start with the 13 circles. Connect the centre of each circle together to create a Metatron's cube you will need to join each individual circle to the centre of each other individual circle. Once you've done this, you will have a Metatron's cube, which will look exactly like this. Then, using a pen, define the edges of the central triangle. This will form the basis of your tetrahedron. Once you have this, you will then need to connect the lines to the centre point from each corner of the triangle. And imagining this is a three-dimensional, three-sided pyramid, or four-sided pyramid. Once you've done that, add time to create the... To draw a hexahedron, or a cube, you need to start with the Metatron's cube. I've shown this a few times now, but basically you draw 13 circles in this pattern. You connect all the centres of them together to create the Metatron's cube, which is used to draw all the five platonic solids. This is the fourth platonic solid we're looking at and it is essentially a square faced object, which is a cube. So you draw in the lines along the hexagon edge and to the center, and it will give it the impression of three dimensions when you add some highlights to create that cube effect, a bit like an ice cube or a crystal. To draw the octahedron, start with 13 circles arranged in this pattern, which will form the fruit of life. Connect all the middles of all the circles and you will create a Metatron's cube. You'll do this by drawing all the lines necessary to complete this stage. Once you've done that, draw around the outline to create a hexagon. This will form the basis of your octahedron. Then draw a large triangle connecting the corner points and that will be the face of the octahedron. Then you can put the back lines in which shows the other side of it and add some white pencil to create sort of see-through highlight. This will make your octahedron appear three-dimensional. All created with the Metatron's cube. Thanks for watching. To draw the dodecahedron a platonic solid, start with the fruit of life, which is made up of 13 circles arranged like this. You will then need to connect all the centers of all the circles together to create a Metatron's cube. I did a video on this recently, so you can watch that to show you exactly how to do it. But basically, all the centers meet all the other centers. Once you have this shape completed, you will then need to identify the center point and draw a pentagon connected to the center point. You will need two more pentagons connected to the center point, which coincidentally is where Terence Howard got his linchpin from. So you might recognize this pattern of these hexagons connected there. Then you need to draw a line along the side Connect that into the corners and that will create your dodecahedron shape. Once you've got the shape, you can add the back drawing lines in if you wish and then you can add some tone to make it. How to draw the icosahedron or the platonic solids? Start with a triangle and draw a larger triangle that surrounds it. Draw lines out to the edges and then draw a hexagon around it. You can do all this based on the Metatron's cube that we drew earlier. Once you've done that, use a pencil to add in a reverse image to give the three-dimensional look to it. Then using your pencil, find out a light source and add highlights. This will give it a three-dimensional feel. Think about where the light source is coming from and then add less and less pencil to add the shadows. Then using the white gel pen, fill in the last section so that it is absolutely three-dimensional. There you go. Enjoy. The Merkabah. Start with a triangle. Then draw another triangle the same size behind it. 
Once you've done this, draw a smaller triangle in the centre of the first triangle. Then connect the centre point to the corners. Once you've done this, use a pencil to add in the other lines, which you'll need for when you add the sh tone. Add highlights to one side where the light will catch it. I've used a pen. Then, using a pencil, add light to the flat front side, but give it a three-dimensional look by changing the direction of your shading. This way it will look like it's slightly indented. Then add highlights to the top sections so that it really gives that three-dimensional Merkabah vibe. 